Hey everyone, Paul here from polymath.com and in this video I just wanted to share a couple of very quick tips uh, for you guys on the um, Assault on Black Reach uh, starter set for Warhammer 40k. Um, the first thing, so I've made a couple of mistakes already while putting this thing together and just wanted to share these with you guys so you guys uh, can avoid them. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is in the manual on page 4 in the getting started section um, right over here they say these models are designed to push together without the need for any glue however some gamers prefer to stick the parts together using plastic glue um, and in a previous video I mentioned this as well that um, in the guide they suggest that uh, plastic glue is optional um, well after putting a few of these things together or cutting them out of the sprues I realized that um, there's no way you can um, you can build these without using glue. Uh, if you look at the base, there's a little slot in there, and how it, these work is that the uh, miniature basically fits right into that slot like that. Okay, and the idea is that it would just basically stay there. But if you look at the, if you see what happens if I let go, it basically just falls out. So there's no way that these are going to stick in there by themselves. Um, same thing with the uh, with the little jet packs that they have. I mean they can fit on there. Um, there's a little little nub on the back there and they basically just push in there. Uh, the challenge with it is, is that if you if you try to pick them up or you basically touch them or um, grab the, the, uh, the miniature they'll just fall right off so uh, you're definitely going to need to glue these in place so um, make sure you pick up one of these uh, they're not expensive, I can't remember, a couple of bucks, three or four bucks I think it was for a bottle of this stuff. Um, let's take a look. Well, it was eight bucks at the, uh, eight bucks Canadian here at the local hobby shop. Um, but yeah, basically, what you want to do is to get these to stick. I also figured out with the Space Marines, um, if you notice how they, let's see if I have one here that's already paint, uh, glued. If you notice the way he's standing, the fronts of their feet are a little bit lifted off. So essentially the Space Marines actually stand on their heels. Uh, whereas the Orcs, if you notice, they stand on the, kind of on the front, on their toes. Because their, uh, their action pose is moving forward, they're like running forward basically. Whereas the uh, Space Marines are kind of in a more of a standing on their, the back of their heels. So um, what that means is when you're gluing them, if you look at the bottom part of their feet, all you really need to do is just put glue right on this part here, on this flat part. You don't need to put glue in the front here. Just put some in the back on both of their heels here and here and put a little bit of glue along this edge here and that'll fit perfectly on there just like that and it'll actually stay now when you're gluing these if you look in the manual again in the next section on page five um, they show the uh, how to paint your models and they say start by undercoating your space marine chaos black and it's hard to see it in this picture but essentially they have a fully assembled uh, Space Marine uh, miniature and what they've done is they've uh, spray painted it chaos black um, well you can do that which is exactly what I did here um, I put it together I glued it and then I did a little I did the undercoating with the chaos black nothing wrong with that um, the only challenge is I realized that after I've done it uh, and I've already assembled a bunch of these guys I realized that it's much easier to get in and paint this little crest that they have here, the, f the wings on the front of their um, spacesuit. It's a lot easier to paint that when you don't have the gun right in front. Because if I take the uh, if I take the gun and I show you guys, see when he holds the gun like that, he covers it up. So you can see it on some of these guys that I've already glued together it's kinda hard to get in and paint that crest um, behind there because you've got the you've got the gunner already um, blocking it 
Same thing with this uh, little jet pack. It's kind of hard to get into the back of it with the paintbrush. So it's actually easier if you just glue them to this to the base first. Leave the um, leave the gun separate. Um, paint the the front. Paint the back. And then um, at least paint the back of the uh, jet pack or the whole thing and the back of the guns and then you can glue that uh, to the front here and you can do the touch-ups and everything um, now having said that even though as you can see these guys have already glued together so it's too late um, and you can see this one here I've already undercoated it with the chaos black having said that um, this guy here actually didn't turn out too bad uh, considering that I didn't um, he was fully assembled before I started painting him so uh, it's hard to see with his camera but um, I was able to get in there and get a l at least a little bit of that gold in there on the front crest and I was able to get in in the back of the jetpack here so it didn't actually turn out too bad so if you already glued yours together don't panic it is still possible to make it look decent um, but if you haven't glued yours yet uh, I would recommend uh, leaving the front uh, gun and their arms um, disassembled for now until you get them painted and then put them on after you've finished painting them. So just glue the base on um, and you should be good. For the orcs I don't think there, there's a problem because you can pretty much get in on any angle they're not really covering up the chest or anything like that so with the orcs you can probably put them together completely. Um, so that's it, just a couple of quick tips when you're uh, working on this set that I already figured out um, from a couple of mistakes I've already made. So I uh, hope that helps you guys out. See you guys in the next video.